Well, hello everyone. So we're going to start another race. Today we're going to do Dragon Tail in reverse. This might be my only opportunity to do this race. I'm in 13th. I feel as I've not set a qualifying time, so I'm actually quite far back. I think the power of me plan is to go power one until we get going, and then I'll take traction control off. Pitched up on about lap five or six, or well, twelve goes to lap six, and lap six, then I'll go soft for the remainder of the race. That's the plan. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need it. So, hello to Motor Mondo. I'm Ray Mondo, your host. And once again, we've started in 13th. It seems to be the place where I always seem to start. So this guy in front here is called Rixo and he will be a major player in this at the end of the race. So we've got a car gone off there to the right and a BMW similar to what I'm driving. And we are coming up to the infamous chicane of death, that's what it's known. I've been hit from behind, luckily I've got away with it, there's quite a few cars going into the wall. Oh, it's chaotic guys. Well, I've survived it this time, but a lot of people do have incidents there, usually the opposite around, this is the actually in reverse. She also you can see it from this view, I've been hit, but I did get away with it. There is cars that's crashed in front, but they've ghosted, thankfully. And you'll see here, it's the Porsche that hits me. Almost sent me into a spin, almost. Another view from the Supra. I'm trying to get the actual right view for the Porsche. Here's the Porsche. So we get a good look at it now and see what actually happened. And he's just going to try and... Whatever, I don't know what he was doing there. Why he's trying to get the inside of me, I don't know. Um, it's just a crazy move. Should have stayed back. Should have backed out of it. So I followed these two cars and... <laughs> nearly lost it there. But IKS, the Spanish guy... We'll see him for quite a bit of the race as well. His uh, performance level seems to be quite similar to mine. Bearing in mind, this is a full race with a pit stop. And we've got a car, car gone off there at the front. Totally straight off into the wall. And then we've got another guy who's taking a hefty penalty by the looks of it. Always gone off. <clears throat> And then you'll notice this guy called VR46 here with a three and a half second penalty in another BMW in front of us. Yeah, the penalty line is actually coming up, guys. I forgot about the penalty line. See, the guy must have just gone off. And this Italian guy, look, just rammed into the back of me there, and you'll see, and then hits me again and again. I'll show you from this angle so you can see. Um, it hits me there, it hits me again. And then decides to do it again here and again. So, yeah, not the cleanest, I've got to admit. But me being me, but for the last year I've been playing it just for fun, for me to enjoy myself, and not concentrate on my level. That's why I've dropped so much. Um, but I don't care anymore. So yeah, I'm going to take the place back, guys. He's going to lose it all on his own and go into a spin. But the lesson should be learnt there is don't go trying to pump people off or even if it's a mistake, you know, you, you can get in the place a bit later on in the lap, you don't have to go for it straight away like that. He tried to go turn in, obviously he's not even looking at his radar. Spin, bosh, and he's quit. I'll show you another angle so you can see it up the inside, he should have seen I was there, but he didn't. And he spins on his own, and he's off. So we'll move forward now. And we're in 8th place, so we're looking alright here, guys. So I'll show you a bit of footage from this. I love this chicane. Love it here. If you get it right, it's a great feeling. If you get it wrong, it's, it's not. <laughs> and it's easy to get it wrong. I get this corner wrong <clears throat> on more than one occasion. Totally got that wrong. 
So we move forward a little bit and a couple of people have, have taken a pit stop, so I'm now in six. You just say beauty, I took that beautifully that time. Unfortunately it's not always the case. I'm in sixth place um, now and I have a bit of a wobble there. And I've got three cars behind, so I've got to try and keep them behind me the best I can. Now, VR46, you will see, he's the guy that had the three and a half second penalty and he is catching me quite rapidly. He's starting to reel me in. Um, I think I was being overcautious, to be honest, um, and obviously I'm not taking curves like I would normally and give myself plenty of room. I think I'm just trying to concentrate on not not uh, spinning off because I've got no traction control on at all at this point in the race. So far everything is looking pretty sweet. The car's driving nice so we're going to skip forward. So I've moved forward a lap. Uh, the yellow car's pitted. I'm continuing obviously. I've got VR46 like really on the back of me now. That's how much he's caught me up in a lap. And now I'm just going to be driving pretty poorly now, guys, because I'm, I'm defending. My tyres have gone. But I'm trying to see it out for lap for till end of lap six. And then what happens here, I clip the wall there and I just scrub the wall and that's given me a one half second penalty. Just from the slightest of touches. Luckily, the R46 weren't involved in that. Uh, so it didn't affect him. Thankfully, I didn't hit him. So I've served my penalty, uh, one half second penalty, and now I'm pitting. So if you remember that yellow car, that yellow car, I've got no doubt in my mind now, is going to jump me at this pit stop because he pitted the lap before and I, I, I took that one half second penalty. So coming out, I'm in ninth place now. And I'm looking around, I can't see him anywhere. So I'm thinking, well, he must be in front of me. And I look behind me, and it's a totally different car behind. And you'll see it's this Portuguese guy who I've not seen the entire race. And he's going to lose control. And you see the yellow cars in front now. So that's how much he's gained, which actually isn't a lot, considering I had a one and a half second penalty. And he's made a mistake, and I'm now going to get him poorly so I've taken his place so that's now moved me up to 8th which is absolutely amazing but remember my tyres are nice and fresh now we're going to head and try and catch VR46 Oh, then Paulie's hit the wall. He's given himself another penalty. Okay, so if you remember the guy in the Super, he's there. And do you remember this guy, Riksu? Well, Riksu we saw at the beginning of the race. And it turns out he actually had a spin. So as you see him come around here, his tyres must be dead. He loses control there, has a snap, and straight off into the gravel. It's the sort of thing that usually happens to me. So Rixie comes around the corner here, just hits the rumble strip, bounces off, boom, straight into the gravel. So he's going to put it in reverse, which was a wise decision rather than trying to drive out of it. VR46 gets past him. Ika gets past him, Spaniard, and now I'm having a sniff here at seventh place. I can see his, his tyres have gone. His tyres have gone, and he's been into gravel, so he's got dirty tyres as well. And he, he runs there, and our back end steps out for me there. Being man, I'm, I'm not using any traction control, and it's a run to the line here, guys. Now that looked like I nudged into him, but it don't look anything like that in reality. It's just the way he rendered it. And then I beat him. Seventh place is mine. And there's the guy in the 
orange stroke yellow car. So I'll see it from a different angle. So there's Ritsu, look, his tyres are totally gone. And then I have my little wobble there, but I've got momentum on my side here, guys. And I'm up the side of him. He tries to run it really to right there, but um, nope, I was there. And I'm just going to snatch it. Just took seventh place off him. So you see it from my angle now, from a different angle. See, I took that corner beautifully. And if you watch here, look. I'm trying to say he's wide. I know he's there to the left. Slightest of touch there, but it'll say it's nothing really. And I, it's saying that I've taken him, but he's just starting to pull back on me there. But I got momentum and I, I beat him. So yeah, a nice finish, seventh place. So well happy with that, guys. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this race today. Uh, I do try and make it as entertaining as possible, <laughs> but usually by starting near the back. So uh, give the video a like. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, and we will see you again for more racing on this channel and other stuff that I share like car spots and uh, tractor spots etc so thank you and goodbye